Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea Silvestro, and here I am with another Angelina Jordan video. You guys sent this my way, her Unchained Melody Noble Peace Prize performance. It's new, I've realized it's two weeks old. Thank you so much for being patient with me and sending it over my way. If you want me to see one of your requests right away, feel free to super chat me or subscribe to my Patreon. But feel free to also check out my music. I have a new song coming out very soon. I'm just working on mixing it right now. And let's get on with it. And there are many here tonight that want to honor this cause. One of them is international star Angelina Jordan. She has come all the way from Los Angeles. I know she hasn't even sung yet, but I want to pay homage to the musicians. This is such a whimsical, beautifully stunning intro that is just creating this feeling. I don't know, it just feels very enchanting and very beautiful. They, they absolutely killed this intro and we love um, how they kind of set the tone and build the energy for the performance. I'm so excited to hear how she, her voice fits into this, but as a musician, I want to give them their props because this was such a stunning intro. Like, I feel like I have chills and I'm being transported to just a different world. So pretty. I just love how her voice is, how the instruments are bleeding in and creating these swell effects that's kind of helping build dynamics and everything. It's just so super and beautiful. I am being so incredibly moved and she looks so stunning as well. Like every time I see her, I feel like she becomes just more mature, more confident. And I'm always so proud to see more recent performances of hers because you can see like the visible growth in her as a performer. She's just such a natural professional. I am loving this performance. Just such a controlled vocalist and she kind of built up to that moment ah, which had a lot of vibrato but i just love her little as you guys know i love the little runs i always give them their attention and um i think that her singing in this way really goes so well with like these the really whimsical instrumental in the background like she's kind of just floating on top and i just love that bigger moment that kind of is also complemented by the instrumentation behind her like it's so crazy how much like a full orchestra full band can really add to a vocal performance like it helps you bring you to certain places it can kind of set the stage set the tone for your certain moments like when she kind of had that bell moment things kind of backed out a bit and let her have that moment that moment to shine but like let's go back really fast Inflections, but they just sound really pretty and it's just her natural Angelina Jordan tone that just you know adding complimenting love Still They 
you could heard the the instrument behind her like that moment and then we kind of break it down and we kind of decrescendo out of it <sighs> whatever she does <laughs> I can't really sing that low. Love the lower register. She's so good. She's so good in that element of her voice as well. And loved that like transition out of that moment for her. Lonely rivers flow to the sea, to the sea, to the open eye. everything backed out and like had her let her have that moment hey i also loved the hey that we kind of got earlier on in the second part we can go back and listen to it but let's let her have her moment So pretty let's go back and break things parts of that down love that whole last section that was stunning 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 we get her little falsetto moments and it's just so graceful elegant beautiful and i wanted to comment on like the last minute i feel like we kind of have like a tone shift a bit kind of more airy fluttery you know and i really loved i wanted to comment on one thing let's go back uh... I feel like this is where we shift and we, she's using more of her head voice, like which we haven't really heard so far in this performance. I like, you know, we're just more in that part, in that pocket. But I also love how she still bleeds that in. And then she still has like these lower, really developed notes that she kind of sprinkles in as well. And I think it's really impressive being able to kind of go from your really high register to your lower register without it sounding awful, <laughs> without there being any kind of transitional period like she basically just kind of perfectly hits these notes and knows where her voice should be and i think that's really impressive because sometimes when you're in one area of voice it's kind of hard to transition especially like to your extreme parts like from high to very low so i just love how she honestly like her lower notes i really love them as you guys know like i really think she has such a great lower register that's not discussed enough and um i think it's very masterfully um navigated as well so yeah let's continue <laughs> I, I, I 
Like, see, we kind of just went for like, ah, I need your love. Like, we just kind of transitioned out, so we're kind of seeing both areas of her voice. Love. That's I like that bend into me, like that slide. I loved the little slide into the higher register. I think it also helps a vocalist like when they have somewhere to go and lead them to the note, but it just was very gracefully, beautifully done. She also held that note for so perfectly. I'm so proud of her. I love that. I love this whole like last 10 seconds. I think it's stunning. And I love hearing her voice in that area. I don't know. It's just super pretty. You know what I'm saying? Like it's resonating super well. She's dead on pitch wise. It's just very light. And I just love that in a vocalist. Like as y'all know, like you guys probably clown and you're like, Drea, we get it. You like a click a very soft airy vocalist but that's why i think this really resonates with me so much this whole little end section this is just such a whimsical beautifully stunning performance and i'm so glad you guys sent it my way i think there's a lot to be said about a vocalist that can hold their own in a room with like a hundred musicians because it's i feel it's really intimidating to be a vocalist that's playing along with all these people like you have to stand out you can't like blend in too much of the track and you have to also you know kind of perfectly I mean, she literally sounded perfect on every single note, but you know, there's a lot of pressure I feel in this situation, but I think she navigated it super well, like super classy, super elegant, and just super dead on, like great overall vocal performance. Like I have nothing, I have no bad notes, but I never do with Angelina. She's already, she's always got it perfectly. We all know how she is, but I just loved the deeper notes and that little falsetto moment at the very end like I thought that was really powerful and I also really enjoyed kind of just overall the 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 sincerity in her voice throughout I thought it was just very strong like very strong vocal performance and also I think it complemented so well the I mean I guess like the instruments behind her complemented her voice very well and kind of took us to certain places that did have a larger impact due to their presence, if that makes sense. Like, I feel they did add a lot, like the musicians add a lot to the arrangement, to how you feel and about the performance. And I think they really added, like, they really touched me emotionally just in terms of how they navigated the whole situation. But anyways, I liked it. Thank you for sending it my way. I'm so sorry, I talk with my hands so much, but feel free to check out my music as well. Thank you, Angelina, for this beautiful, stunning performance. She looks beautiful as well. And let me know what else I should watch. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And this city's never had something for me As you know from all of my stories